good day and welcome to today's class. We will look into uh, the two categories of orthographic projection. We have the first angle orthographic projection and we also have the third angle. Yeah, we have the first angle, right? The first angle and the third angle. Right? So, in the first angle orthographic projection, this is how the objects are arranged in first angle. Yeah, we have it this way. This is the chart. We have the front elevation. Directly under we have the plan. Right here we have the left, left end view. While here we have what? Right end view. So. This is for what? For first angle projection. First angle projection. Alright? Why for third angle projection? This is its chart. Alright? We have the plan at the top here. We have the front elevation here. We have the right end view right here. And we have the left end view right here. All right, so you can actually see the uh, basic difference between the first angle and the third angle. All right, so in the first angle, the only difference there is that at the top here we have the we have the front, while under the front we have the plan. But towards our end views, on the right hand side we are having our our left end view, while on the right hand side we are having our we are having our right end view towards what was the left hand side, but in third angle orthographic projection, the inverse is the case here because we have the plan at the top here, underneath we have the front. Why on the elevations on the envies we have the word right end view towards the right hand side and the left end view towards the left hand side? All right, so bearing this chart, I'm going to employ you to put it down. All right, put it down in the booklet. So let's actually take this chart to solve this particular question. So, if we are given this kind of question and we are to deduce it in first angle orthographic relation, so in first, this particular object is in isometric view. So, how will I, what are the views which I'm going to have when to solve this in first angle? So, the very first thing you need to take note of is this try and create your chart first. All right. So, if the question says, take the direction of arrow Q. Take the direction of arrow Q as your front elevation. And then automatically you know that what this arrow R will be your what will be your end view. So if that is the case, you need to create your chart. Yeah, you need to create your chart. All right, this is the chart. Okay, on this okay chart. to create your chart, take note of this. If you are going to do it in a graph, I'm going to make a video. Whereby we are going to arrange this object properly, all right? So let's just use this as an example, all right? So if this is my front view, then automatically this area stands for my what? Stands for my end view, yeah. This area here is my what? Is my end view, yes. So if this is my end view, my end view on this particular object is actually towards what? Towards the right hand side. So this view on my object is towards what? Towards the right hand side. But first angle orthographic projection says what? Anything you see on the right side will be what? Will be on the left. So this particular view here will be on what? Will be on this position. All right. So if I'm actually going to solve this, I'm going to what? First of all, put my what? My front elevation. And for my front, I am actually seeing it. I am seeing this area. Yes or no? And I'm good. I am seeing this area because my eyes is looking directly at this object from this uh, direction. All right, so this is my front view. That is my front view. So if I am to add hidden details to this drawing, if I am to add hidden details, then the hidden details on this front view will be you. Take note of this. You can see. So my hidden details will be positioned somewhere there. All right, so this will be my hidden details here. All right, so this is my what? This is my front elevation. This is my front elevation. All right, so 
direct me on that. It's this from the vision. I'm going to have my own. I'm going to have my plan. All right. Let me and use this plan to actually uh, demarcate it. So if I'm to have my plan, plan is simply what I am looking directly from the top. Yeah, my eyes looking at it from the top like this. Then, all right. So if I'm looking at this object, that one from the top, I am seeing it. I am seeing this area. Then I'm seeing what this area. So positioning it to the direction of this front view, then I'm going to start viewing my plan from here. From this area, then what backwards? I'm going to start my view my plan from here. See it to this area again. From this area, see it to this area. So if that is the case, then this is my what? This is my plan view. Yeah, that is my what? That is my plan view. All right. So the end view now. The end view. What are we going to use to represent our end view? Remember, this end view is towards what? Towards the right hand side. And the first angle, our right hand side is where? Located towards what? Towards the left hand side. All right? So this end view is going to be this. This is our answer. This is our answer. So projection of this one down there. I'm having my end view, right? This area coming here comes here. This area comes down here. All right? This area goes here, then this area comes up here, then this goes here, then this goes here. All right. So you can see the correlation between uh, this hidden view and this area, right? So this area that is on your end view is actually what's hidden right on the front view. All right. So this is my what? This is my right end view. Why this is my what? This is my plan. Thank you. So welcome back. This same question, if we are to solve it in third angle projection, this is the chart for third angle orthographic projection. So if we are to reduce this same question in third angle projection, using the same direction of arrow cube as our front view, then this is going to be the answer. We are going to have our chart in this one. All right? Yeah, in this one. So our front view is going to be here. At the bottom, why our plan is going to be at the top. Meanwhile, our right end view is at the right, left end view is at the left. So, if this is our front view here, then this end view is towards the, towards towards the right hand side because our front is towards what towards the left. All right, so automatically, my front view will be what position here, my plan will be here, while my end view will be here. So, let me draw my front. Ah, uh, view my front view. Okay, so this should be my front view. This, all right, because I am viewing it from here. This area here is this, all right. Why this area here is this? That's my front view, all right. So for my plan, for my right, since this is my front view, I am going to view my plan from this tip here, then towards what? Towards the back, all right. My plan is where? My plan is this area and what and this area then this is my what this is my plan yeah this area signifies here you understand that's here why the concluding part here signifies here signifies here which is here which is here so this is our our plan so then our end view here is positioned towards here Towards the right hand side, and just look at the shape we are seeing from here. All right, I am seeing this, yeah, on my front view. Right? I am seeing that on my front view. So on my on my envy, I am seeing this view on my own, on my envy. Then if I am to add any details, if I am to add any details, the little list will be positioned on where on the front view here, which is here, which is also this area here. So that is the projection of this object in what? In third angle. All right, thank you.